For years, Telecom's answer to every challenge was the same. Build faster. More fiber, more 5G, more capacity. But faster isn't smarter. And now, speed alone can't solve the complexity of modern communications. The answer isn't just more bandwidth. It's a new framework, the intelligent communications fabric. How is that changing the game for carriers and their customers? What does it do for them? Yeah, I think at the highest level, intelligent communications fabric is our vision for the modern telcos communications network in a world where monetization is at the forefront. And I think for the longest time, service providers have been thinking about enterprise value creation pretty myopically through the lens of increased efficiencies and driving costs out of the network. And the intelligent communications fabric gives them a path now to create enterprise value by growing revenue. A core part of our intelligent communications fabric framework is this three-layer model, right? Infrastructure at the bottom, a set of interesting services at the top level, but integrated together with what we're calling the orchestration layer. And that orchestration layer is what allows us to kind of provide those APIs and integration ability to that top layer without having to go in and do that kind of deep, complex integration time and time again at the infrastructure layer. Building those three layers where they've got the orchestration layer, then the services layer on top, to enable them to keep that technology in place, but at the same time, leverage new technology over the top, which is going to bring new benefits and new outcomes for their customers. This is where complexity disappears. The orchestration layer translates legacy protocols into modern programmable APIs. It's the missing bridge between the network and the innovators who build on it. At the top sits the human layer, the experience. This is where intelligence meets imagination, AI voice analysis that saves lives, transcripts, summaries, and call co-pilots. The voice of the network itself, reborn as a platform. Telcos, ISPs, mobile operators do have some unique characteristics and roles but it's going to be a complex and multi-stakeholder ecosystem involving developers, cloud platforms, device vendors as well. And the question is how all of them can come together to leverage their specific and unique capabilities to build the future voice applications for both consumers and businesses. The intelligent communications fabric doesn't replace networks, it transforms them. A living framework where reliability meets creativity and where telcos can finally move fast without breaking anything. It covers all the areas that traditionally telcos have, have struggled with. You know, it gives us an infrastructure capability. Um, I was really impressed with the orchestration layer and, and how that can bring kind of the billing and the, and the provisioning and everything together in one place. And then obviously the applications that sit on top, contact center, messaging, all that kind of thing. It's like the complete package. So if you're you know, if you're a small telco just starting up, you can go straight to Alianza and, you know, you can buy that straight off the shelf. And if you're a larger telco, um, such as British Telecom, for example, then, you know, it gives us it gives us other capabilities that we can use. So I think it's got something for everyone in the, in the package. The orchestration layer isn't a product, it's a philosophy, a roadmap of how networks evolve from pipes to platforms to partners in progress. The future of telecom isn't just connected, it's intelligent.